Want to sleep in a class in year 12? Listen for the next 90 seconds and I'll show you how. Here we have a question where an electron is fired into an electric field and it's asking you to find the electron's final speed. First thing you need to be aware of is, is the electron positively accelerating in the electric field or is it negatively accelerating in the electric field? So for this one, we see the electric field running from the top to the bottom and we know electric field lines run from positive to negative. That means the top plate is positively charged and the bottom plate is negatively charged. So let's add that in the diagram. Now we expect the electron to accelerate positively towards the positively charged plate. And if all you know are suvats, you might find this a bit tricky. So let's look at another way at solving the problem. And we do this by considering the concept of work. So what is work? Work is simply just the change in energy of an object. And there's two main types of energy, kinetic and potential. Now what we consider is the work done by the electric field results in a change in kinetic energy of the electron. So let's look at how we'll set this up. So essentially we're going to say the final kinetic energy of the electron is equal to the initial kinetic energy of the electron plus the work done on the electron by the electric field. And pretty much here we have all the information we need in the question or in our data sheet. Many teachers don't teach W is QV in year 11 and they wait till year 12 to go through it. So when your teacher does it in year 12, I give you permission to sleep because you've already done it right here with me right now. So essentially to find the change in energy of the electron in the electric field, all you need to know is the charge on the electron from your data sheet and the voltage through which it moves, which you can see is given in the question. So let's plug in some numbers. After plugging in the known data, we end up with the final kinetic energy being 2.8 times 10 to the minus 17 joules. And simply all we do here is we just rearrange our equation and we make V the subject. So let's do that now. We end up with a final answer of 7.9 times 10 to the six meters per second. You've now solved for the final speed of the electron when it strikes the positive plate. And now I give you permission to sleep in one module six lesson at school, not at Sigma, unless you're Bruce. Bruce is a very tired boy.